this is not a motivational video so what do i do in this video i'll summarize five key ideas or points that you can take away from the book open open is an autobiography on the legend andre agassi andre agassi played tennis professionally from 1986 to 2006 often ranked number 1 winning eight grand slam single championships and he is the only man to win a career golden slam all four grand slam single titles plus the olympic gold medal agassi also a philanthropist founder of andre agassi foundation for education and raised 85 million dollars for andre agassi college preparatory academy an acclaimed school for underprivileged children in his hometown las vegas currently he lives in las vegas with his wife stephanie graf and their two children the first key point is we have always been told or heard by the people around us or by the successful speeches that to be great you should do what you love doing when i started reading the book the first thing that hooked me up with this book was andre saying that he hated tennis get me stunned the guy who hated his sport was the greatest for two decades in the history of tennis so how is that even possible so when you read further you understand that it's acceptance he did not hate his sport but hated the process of his sport he hated every minute of his training he hated the process but accepts and does it and enjoys the outcome you choose any stream or career to excel the end result always looks great or the success looks great may that be of a celebrity or athlete or a successful entrepreneur or even it may be your physical health to get into the best shape of your life you need to be consistent it's boring it's hard it's frustrating and at one some point of time you really get devastated but, but you still do and keep going one day it will definitely take you where you wanted to be and live your life to the fullest because acceptance leads to consistency and consistency leads to success millions who hate what they do for a living they do it anyway maybe doing what you hate doing it well and cheerfully is the point so the second key point is This quote comes in reference when Agassi is playing against Marcos Bagdatis. Agassi says that his opponent Marcos was so good in that match that he was very quick and active and felt that at a point of time it's impossible to beat him. But Agassi quickly comes into conclusion and convinces himself that result is not in his hands. He has the control only on what he can do in the process. so keeps all his feelings aside and focuses on what is in his control that's exactly how we take things take for example you want to reach from point a to point b the journey is tough in spite of that you give your 100% and keep going but fail you try again this time and fail even more miserably so do you quit sometimes we get carried away with the complex thoughts in our mind we change our path just because we feel it's impossible but is that the truth No, things doesn't work according to what you think or what you feel. It works when you act on it. It works when you bring those thoughts into action. So it doesn't matter what you feel. The only way to reach from point A to point B is to work. It doesn't matter what was your past experience or what you have been through or, or what people around you say and focus on work and start doing. When you do that, keeping all your feelings aside, is what makes you brave the third key point is that agassi's father emmanuel agassi was a professional boxer and said to be coach of andre too here agassi mentions about the best advice of his father he says that his father when he boxed he always wanted to take a guy's best punch and when you know that you just took the other guy's best punch and you're still standing and the guy knows it you'll rip the heart right out of him That's exactly how you take things. Always aim for the best and give your best. When you develop this habit of aiming higher every time, you subconsciously develop a thought in mind that something which is not up to the mark is always a easier game for you to ace it. Think about it. The fourth key point is This is quite a funny scene and most important thing that I read in this book. Once Agassi along with his sister and friend Perry Rogers plan out for a movie and after watching it they roll out of theater to buy some food so they head across the street to Winchell's Donut House while enjoying their food 
Perry is kind of observing something and he stops and questions the counter guy behind him that is this store open 24 bar 7 the counter guy replies yes then perry again is this open for whole 365 days a year the counter guy says yes for whole year perry in response very smartly asks the guy if this store is open for 24 bar 7 for whole 365 days a year then why are there locks on the front door isn't life just like that full of windshield lock that we can't explain let us decode this what is that windshield lock it's excuses we always tend to be in our comfort zone and procrastinate things and achieve that successfully without any regrets by giving excuses like think for a minute what are those excuses i don't have time to work out i don't have time to cook i don't have that interest in me to learn new skills and all those things that you come up with a new excuse it's like locking up ourselves we are open to ideas we are open to change but are we open to learning and the fifth key point is that i know it sounds very cliche but i guess he comes up with a line which is so convincing he just goes on to say that it's not that money is not important money is the most important thing for survival it gives us all our basic needs our utmost comfort and all that materialistic pleasure but it's not the only thing for happiness in fact it's non permanent and a short term joy if you actually want to be happy it should come within us and it comes when we have peace in our lives and there is no substitute for peace peace is achieved with the sense of satisfaction and fulfillment from smallest to the smallest things we achieve in our everyday life if you still think money can buy happiness it's just a teenage thought so guys these are the five best ideas or key points from this book which i believe were worth sharing apart from these ideas and philosophy there are best quotes that i come across the there are many but i'll list the three best quotes that i want to If you are curious and want to know more I want you guys to read this book. It's absolutely worth it. A greatest story of a greatest athlete of all time. Give it a try to know Agassi's journey, his childhood, his personal life. It's very thrilling, it's very engaging. Hope you guys like today's video and feel worth it. Then definitely like the video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification for further updates when I come up with a new video. Until then